Meet Lawrence. He's a 67-year-old grandfather who enjoys traveling the world in his retirement with his wife, three children, and grandkids when they can join too. Then one day, while on a trip, his daughter brought it to his attention that he may need help getting around more after seeing a change in his pace. Over time, more of his children noticed the shakiness in his movements, especially with his hands. They asked him to see a doctor, who then diagnosed him with Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a condition in which neurons in part of the brain gradually die. Formerly called shaking palsy in 1817, doctors were aware of this illness, but few had taken the time to study it. Recognizing the seriousness of the condition, Dr. James Parkinson wrote a now famous essay drawing attention to the disease that would later be named after him. The disease causes symptoms like tremors, slow movements, stiffness, and difficulty initiating movements. Some patients also have trouble controlling their speech and tend to talk very quietly. According to a 2022 study, around 90,000 people are diagnosed with Parkinson's in the U.S. annually. Additional studies show that risk also increases with age. Those over the age of 65 are more likely to receive the diagnosis. It has been stated that the risk of developing Parkinson's disease is twice as high in men than women but women have a higher mortality rate and faster progression of the disease. Other known risk factors include a history of head injury or working in occupations where you're exposed to metals, solvents, and polychlorinated biphenols, a contaminant sometimes found in groundwater. How does Parkinson's disease affect the body? When you have Parkinson's disease, brain cells in a particular part of your brain called the substantia nigra start to die. Those brain cells make a neurotransmitter called dopamine. Your body uses dopamine to send messages that control your mood, memory, movement, attention, learning, pleasurable reward and motivation, behavior and cognition, sleep and arousal, lactation. The lack of dopamine caused by brain cell loss impacts these functions. While motor symptoms are the most noticeable to others, many people with Parkinson's also experience constipation, cognitive changes, depression, insomnia, and dementia. You may be wondering what causes these brain cells to die and how does someone develop Parkinson's disease? Scientists don't know for sure what causes Parkinson's, but they believe genetics play a role in about 10 to 15% of the cases. So how do patients today manage Parkinson's symptoms and minimize risks? The two most effective strategies are exercising regularly and taking medicine. Any exercise can help slow the progression of motor symptoms. Some exercise classes like boxing and dancing may help with your cognitive symptoms as well because they require concentration and complex movements. Participating in group classes can also help with depression. Almost everyone with Parkinson's disease will be prescribed levodopa carbidopa. When the drug enters your brain, this drug is converted to dopamine, replacing some of the disease-caused lost dopamine. But over time, brain cells continue to die. Levodopa carbidopa may not be sufficient to help your brain make enough dopamine. A doctor may prescribe other treatments to strengthen the effects of levodopa carbidopa. Raising the level of dopamine in your brain can cause surprising side effects. For example, you may get nauseous or experience uncontrollable movements. Occasionally, the drugs can seriously impact your cognition. Some people even have hallucinations or delusions. Another of the worrisome side effects is compulsions. Because dopamine motivates you to repeat rewarding behavior, excessive dopamine can make it difficult to control compulsions leading to excessive gambling, binge eating, or inappropriate sexual behavior. It's extremely important to communicate with your doctor frequently and bring a family member, friend, or caregiver to your appointments if possible in case they have noticed cognitive symptoms that aren't obvious to you, in case your medicines need to be adjusted. A solid support system is crucial and understanding the risks and benefits of medicines is essential to take charge of one's health. MedShadow helps protect our health, 
our family and ourselves from medical harm, including the side effects of medications by providing informative videos like this. Like, share, and subscribe for more health videos. Learn more about symptoms, conditions, and side effects at medshadow.org.